So I actually got attacked by a little black fish. I was like swimming around and I felt a little bunk on my leg and I turned Ooh. and then I sort of waited and watched and then this black fish was like near near attack the camera. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good morning from our second day in Antigua. We have been recruited into the Caribbean lifestyle in one day. Like we spent the, our first video, what we did yesterday was just all inclusive lifestyle. Yep. Showing off the showing off the resort, but there's so much more to see here that we want to go and check out. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing a nature tour, which includes uh, kayaking, snorkeling, and potentially a bit of hiking. It sounds like you can pick and choose between the three about like what you yeah, want to do. Because it's something so. about oh, if goodness. you want to just... <laughs> oh. If you want to just lie on the beach or whatever, you can do that. So, yeah, we're not really too sure how the day is going to play out, but we're on our Starts way. Starts with breakfast <laughs> and with coffee because you can't skip uh, the buffet, of course. And then uh, we've got to pick up at reception. I think it's about a 45 minute drive before we head out there and jump on a boat to start or something. I'll put the jackpot here, babe. Yeah. Oh, getting a lift. Get no, 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 you're okay, you're okay. You can say hello even. <laughs> yes, lift down to reception. That's so good. Normally a 15 minute walk, so I'm happy about this. After a quick drive down the coast, we made it to Antigua Nature Tours. We had our safety briefing for the snorkeling and the kayaking, and then our host just casually mentioned they're about to launch a sanctuary for rescued tortoises. After hearing that, our group went rogue and managed to convince them to give us a tour before we jumped in the boat to go kayaking. They said yes, but only if it was super quick. That's why he's running so fast down there. He's like, go, 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 go. This has to happen now. So we got 50 Aldabra tortoises. Um, ranging from a big male who's about 60 years old, about 300 pounds, down to ones who's about two years old. Um, it's a sanctuary, we've taken them, they've come from um, the Seychelles and the Maldives up around there. And we've got some blind ones, some one-eyed ones, a couple of one-legged ones. So they've got a, an environment here where they are perfectly safe, they're not competing for food. They're so cute. They're so slow. So slow. <laughs> These are giant Aldebra tortoises and they grow really big <laughs> and they are, some of them are really old as well. Second largest. The second largest after the Galapagos tur tur tortoise? <laughs> tortoise. And apparently they, they can actually feel through their shells, which is not something that I no, you, I didn't know that. That's, I had no idea that was a thing. That's pretty amazing. They've got a little drinking hole back here, a little place. Drinking hole? Maybe not a drinking hole, but they've got a little place that they can hang out. Look at this guy. He's just chilling. So this is the oldest guy. Is he he's 60, he's 60 years old? They reckon he is. Wow, it's just, it is very, very dry skin. <laughs> it's sort of, I mean, it, it's, it, it feels as you would expect when you when you touch but they're all rescued here which is a, which is nice like they're all they're all looked after they're in a, a like a fun sanctuary. open space it is a sanctuary kind of environment and I'm not sure if everybody gets the privilege of kind of getting this close and touching them but it's pretty special I never thought that I actually get the chance to do this you can feel through the shell it's surprisingly warm actually I didn't expect that oh we gotta go Bye. Hey, have a good day. Catch you later. My name is Mark. I'm going to be your captain and tour guide for today. Right now, it's roughly just about six, eight minutes boat ride down to the first park where we do our first adventure, which will be kayaking. Yeah! Okay. Yay! <laughs> now, please grab a hold of any loose objects that you have with you your hats, caps, towels, bags, loved ones, anything that you don't want to fly away on the way down. Please secure them. It's going to be a windy boat ride.
So we've had our safety briefing, we've signed our life away, <laughs> we've met our, uh, our driver, our tour guide for the day, his name's Mark. We've just gone for like a five or ten minute blat around on the, what do we call it a speedboat? Yeah. I'm going to call it a speedboat, let's call it. It was relatively fast anyway. Now we've come to, it just went from incredibly loud to incredibly peaceful. We've pulled up now into the mangroves that are behind us. We've got the kayaks, we're going to put all of our stuff that needs to stay dry in the boat. Grab a little uh, water camera, some sunscreen. I'm going to head out there. You can paddle me around. <laughs> <laughs> you never do the paddling. No, I'm there for the ride. <laughs> just had our safety briefing, uh, learnt how to get in the kayaks and also learnt some really common sense things like don't both lean on the same side of the kayak or you will go swimming and yeah I'm excited to like get out and see what this place is all about. It looks like there's lots of little islands or bunches of mangroves like concentrated around so this is going to be fun. So we just learned a few really interesting facts about the mangroves. So they are actually not just for looks, they actually serve a really important purpose here as well because they absorb about 60% of the wind uh, and this area of Antigua is prone to hurricanes so it's they actually serve a really important role. And then the other really interesting thing we found out is that the roots, uh, about 90% of the roots are not actually like rooted in the ground. They just float around, which I didn't actually know. Did you no, know that? No, if you turn it around, babe, I might even be able to like lift one of these bad Let me see. Oh, that's not one of them. Here we that's go. one of the 10%. Here we go. They just sort of sit there. That's amazing. Oh, look at this. What's it? There's a crab oh. on there too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we. Oui. Take some phone claps, guys. I'll be back. I'm gonna find a starfish somewhere. And... So, sea cucumber. One of those places in the world they eat these things. How to get out of this? But they've got both one end is the mouth, and one end is the butt. Apparently, they're really important for the ecosystem. But uh, they protect them here. I think I'm just gonna pass it on instead. Here we go, babe. Have a hole. <laughs> Uh, What's his name? Bob. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely got a Bob thing going on. Nobody take it. So I just went for a little bit of a snorkel and super clear, but not a hell of a lot of fish or anything. Oh, they're going on a little hike. We've decided Bye. against it because it looks like We're it's here about with to rain. Punch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you this. I actually got attacked by a little black fish. Did you? Yeah. So I was like, I was like swimming around and I felt a little bunk on my leg and I turned and there was nothing there. It was on your leg. No, it, it had gone. Oh, it just bit you in and I was way. like, that's weird. And then I sort of waited and watched, and then this black fish was like, nip, 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 fuck, attack, Ooh, attack the run. camera. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nip, 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 fuck. So I'm meanwhile, crazy. I was here on this deserted island. There was only like four. <laughs> there was only like Dramatic. four of us, and we got left with rum punch. We had to sit and, up. And yeah, we had to play bartender while these guys were out and try not to drink all the all the rum. But it's so it's so nice here. It it's, is. Other than the weather. Yeah, although it, it is about to rain. <laughs> is this all right? You can see what we're all in here. There is music absolutely cranking. Well, we've been driving around now for maybe an hour and a half or so, and it is uh, it's it's eye opening. It's really eye opening seeing. Uh, what the rest of the island is like outside of that resort enclosed lifestyle, isn't yeah. it? 